you know, fish stocking in North Dakota goes back to uh, literally the, or the late 1800s. Fish stocking has come a long way from the days of transporting fish into the state via train and dispersing them by filling cream cans and driving to the lake. Sophisticated trailers and oxygen systems make it much easier to get walleyes to needy lakes, and it's a good thing because there are a lot more fishable waters than ever before. From a stocking standpoint, where we're, whereas we used to stock maybe 60, 70 walleye, lakes with walleyes each year, this year we're going to be stocking 140, 150 lakes with walleyes. Not every body of water in North Dakota gets a walleye stocking infusion every year. Some lakes that have been previously stocked are now self-sufficient. Once it's able to do, uh, has enough natural reproduction, Devil's Lake's a good example. Uh, we haven't really been stocking that the last few years, so it, it, it does well on its own. And a lot of these new lakes, once we get them started and they have a reproducing population, you know, we hope that they can also do it on its own. Jerry Weigel and his crew first figure out how many fish go into a particular body of water. 100 to 150 inch and a half fingerlings per acre of water. There are a number of criteria that determine which lakes get stocked, but there is one that stands out above all others. First and foremost is, is public access, you know, because we're using public fish, um, so we absolutely want to ensure that the public has access to these fish once we've stocked them in there. Most of the land around these smaller stocked lakes is privately owned. But whenever possible, the Game and Fish Department will attempt to gain an easement and put in a boat ramp for even easier access. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.